Health Organization declared that COVID-19 was no longer considered a public health emergency of international concern on May 5, 2023, due to the reduced incidence of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. Countries were advised to maintain the surveillance and diagnostic gains made during the initial phases of the pandemic and to monitor and manage the disease. St. Lucia has since integrated the care and management of COVID-19 into the healthcare system as we learn to live safely with COVID-19. Over the past year, we have continued to note the introduction of new variants and have managed COVID-19 cases in country. The new variants introduced seem more contagious than regular influenza, causing respiratory illness lasting between five to seven days. Generally, the testing rate is very low at this time, with most patients managing the symptoms at home, self-treating until recovery. The majority of patients make a full recovery without hospitalization nor deaths. Currently, the dominant variant of COVID-19 in St. Lucia is an Omicron subvariant called XBB 1.5. As expected over the period of increased mass crowd activities, during the last three weeks, we note an increased number of persons with respiratory illness, both at the public and private health facilities. In an effort to reduce the spread and control the disease, the Ministry of Health advises the general public to adhere to the following preventative measures for respiratory illness. Wash hands frequently or use hand sanitizers. Avoid close contact with persons who are sick. Do not report to work or attend social activities if you are feeling unwell. With the reopening of schools in two weeks, parents are reminded to keep children with respiratory symptoms at home until resolved to reduce the spread to other students. Visit your healthcare provider for management of your signs and symptoms if they become severe or worsen. Consider wearing a mask when in public, especially if you have flu-like symptoms. The treatment and care for COVID-19 is available at all of the community wellness centers. COVID-19 testing for persons with symptoms is also available at these centers and free of charge. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs remains vigilant and will continue to provide updates to the public.